Hey guys, welcome back to Sippin' Tea with TJ. I hope you guys had an amazing day. Thank you for clicking on this video. Don't forget to hit that notification button, thumbs up the video, and subscribe. Now let's get into sipping this tea. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be on JD, her update. So before we get into this reaction, I do want to wish her well. I hope she makes a speedy recovery so that she can get back home to her babies. Let's get into the video. Um, I know a lot of y'all follow my mom on, on Facebook too. So I just decided to come and do an update. So I'm back in the hospital. I was having a lot of chest pains last night to where I couldn't lay down and go to sleep and couldn't breathe. They told me to come in and get checked. But y'all looking at this live, looking at this video, her face doesn't seem normal. It seemed like you can look at her and tell something is going on, that she's not feeling well because her face doesn't look like what I'm used to seeing, if that makes any sense. Um, I did a CT scan and it showed that I have fluid in my chest. So they're giving me some medicine for that, but I also, so having high blood pressure, I had it all night. Um, so she said she has fluid on her chest. I mean, could that be pneumonia, guys? What could that possibly possibly be with that fluid being on her chest like that? You know, that is very scary, having fluid on her chest. And it's, they're calling it postpartum preeclampsia. So it was so high that they had to give me magnesium to help to keep me from having any kind of strokes or seizures. Um, I'm also now that is crazy. So her pressure was so extremely high, it could have killed her. And that is why they call high blood pressure a, sign, a silent killer. Because a lot of times people don't even know that they have high blood pressure. And their pressure is so high. But she had her pressure has been so extremely high that they had to give her medicine because she could have had a damn stroke. So my question is, clearly before she left the hospital, her pressure must not have been that high for them to release her. You know what I'm saying? And they, did, and they released her probably without any medication. So it makes me believe that her pressure... Couldn't have been that high while she was at the hospital, right? So when she gets released from the hospital, within a couple of days, her pressure spikes. Her pressure spikes. And y'all already know this goes back to all of that salt that we used to tell y'all, that we be telling her about with hips. Like even before she got pregnant, we would say that it's too much sodium, too much sodium. The stuff she eat too much sodium. Like just recently, y'all, in the video, the vlog that she did. What was she eating, y'all? She was eating them noodles, y'all. Them noodles have so much sodium. If you want to eat that when you not pregnant, then that's what you do. You don't care about your body. But, sis, we kept telling you don't do that with that baby. Because if your body is in distress, then that baby is in distress. Thank God she had a healthy pregnancy and the baby is okay. But, sis, you could have had a damn stroke. Tell your man... Stop, stop making all that salty food. You can still eat everything that you like to eat, but you ain't got to add all of that salt to it. You don't got to be so heavy handed with that salt, sis. You got five beautiful kids that need you, sis. You got to take care of yourself because if you don't take care of you, you can't take care of them babies. So, they're giving me some medication for blood pressure. They said it's it's still high, but it's um, lower than what it was. But it, all I'm asking is for everyone to pray for me. Um, and at the end of the day, I do pray, and I hope that she has a speedy recovery. I come on this camera and I do my reactions, but at the end of the day. I don't want nothing to happen to nobody, whether I know you or not. So I want her to have a speedy recovery. I hope they get her blood pressure and her health under control. I hope that this is a lesson for her. Once she get out of this hospital, she take care of herself. 
she may have to change her diet completely because for her pressure to be this extremely high to, to where she could have had a stroke, sis, you may have to change your whole diet. It takes to be in here in this hospital for days. Yeah. And I definitely could understand that because this is some, this is scary. This is scary. You know, this is her health. That's why they say you treat your body right. Your body will treat you right. Take care of your body. So I definitely feel bad for her. I really feel, I feel bad because at the end of the day, she got to be, she just gave birth to her son. Now she's back in the hospital and somebody else has to watch her kids. But Jasmine, you need to listen to your body, sis. Your body is talking to you. Your body is trying to tell you that something is not right. It's telling you that, sis, you're not treating me right. So guess what? I'm not going to treat you right. Listen to your body. Listen. Um, I just didn't know. And Chris was like, you need to go in. So that was his call to make me come into the hospital. So. But you know what, sis? Well, shout out to hips. Because at the end of the day, he made you go to the hospital. Now, what I will say, it's a shame that he had to be the one to tell you to go. Because like I said, we know our body. And we know when something's not right with our body. We know when our body is not doing what it normally does or giving us what it normally should give us. So at the end of the day, J.D., you, he shouldn't have to tell you to take your tail to the hospital. You should have been like, you know what? Something ain't right. Chris, I got to go to the hospital. But I will say shout out to him. For making you get up and go, sis. Because at the end of the day, that blood pressure ain't nothing to play with. And that fluid on your chest, sis, no. And you probably would have let that linger and linger and linger. So shout out to Hips for making you go. Here we are. I want him here with me, but he has all the kids. Hopefully someone reaches out to help him with someone. Someone. With the kids. Someone. You know what? That part make me sad too, y'all. Someone, hopefully someone. Who is someone? She didn't even say a name. Hopefully someone reaches out to him. At the end of the day, I hope someone reaches out to sis. Because five kids is a lot. And mothers do it all the time. Absolutely. Absolutely we do. But he's not there with the kids 24-7 all day long like she is. You got them twins. They are a handful. The two older girls, they, 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 they're probably helpful. And then you got the baby who needs your undivided attention. So maybe his sister can come over and help him. Even if she, even if he can't get to the hospital with Jasmine, but just to come and help with the kids, you know, mama Dukes, maybe she'll come back over. I know she just watched the kids and I seen on one of her posts, she put that she was tired, you know, I get it. But somebody, I mean, where's, J, where's JD's brother? Maybe her brother can come over. I don't know. You know, hopefully somebody can come and help Chris watch the kids because it is a lot. It is a lot. And then especially with a newborn baby. Yeah. And don't forget Bentley because guess what? Animals are like kids too. You got to make sure you take care of them as well. So he got five kids and a dog to take care of and she said she might be here for some days because they probably got to run all these tests to f figure out what's going on and get to the bottom of why she's you know going through what she's going through you know so you just have so much pressure on him i'm trying not to stress i'm trying to just relax so that with that said i'm going to take like a little break from you too i don't want to you know because i just need my blood pressure just to come down even though it's i've never heard of it but she said it's, it's not as common postpartum preeclampsia is when you you get it after but it she says she's going to take a break on youtube take some days off i get it y'all i get it because if she worked a nine to five where she had to get up and go to work she couldn't physically get up and go to work because she would be in the hospital right so i get that but we all know jd really cannot take days off like that 
She really can. You know, this is her bread and butter. This is how she makes her money. She can't call in sick. She can't get a sick day. They can't say, okay, Jasmine, we're going to give you a couple sick days and you still get your paycheck. You get what I'm saying? She can't really do that. This is her bread and butter. So what she, she, she can't get up and physically set the camera up, do this, do that. I get it. But film this journey. Film this journey. Even if you have to go live every day, you know, not edit. Or do any of that. Just film it every day. Come on camera. Come on live. Or do what you just did. Record like this. And just post and let them know what's going on. You know what the doctor said. You know what the next step is. You know that way you record this journey. One so you can look back on it. And two you still making your coins at the same time. You get it? And also I know Hip's probably going through a lot. I know he probably going through a lot. But hips, pick up the camera and film a cooking video. I don't care if you're making the kids a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You know, go up on that extra jazz and Chris and record some stuff. Help your woman out. Help her out. You see, she's down for the count. She can't do those vlogs like she's been doing. So help her out a little bit. You could be bringing some extra coins home too. Because at the end of the day, when him here watching these kids, I know he ain't been able to go to work. So come on now. This is a tag. This is this is a 50-50. Y'all in a relationship. This is a team effort. But um, I have, I'm just hooked up. Okay, I got stuff hooked into my legs. Um, I'm not comfortable. What else? I just wanted to update y'all, but y'all know what's going on. It's a quick one. So I'm sorry I didn't get to upload part two. I'll try to get get that done later on. Um, at least because the, the name reveal is on my computer. I'm really stressed out, y'all. But that's all I wanted to come on here and update y'all with. So I'll talk to y'all later. I understand her being stressed out, y'all. It is a lot to deal with. Like I said, she don't know what's going on with her health and why she's going through this. She got five kids home that need her, that probably miss her, that she miss. So I, I definitely get it. I understand. I really hope for a speedy recovery. But sis, I hope this is just a wake-up call for you to take care of your health, Okay. I hope that this is a wake-up call for you to stop all of that damn lorries and all that salty seasoning and eating. I mean, it's a lot of things that you can substitute for seasoning. They got a bunch of Mrs. Dash that has some wonderful flavors, okay? Because I, I love Mrs. Dash. But I hope this is a wake-up call to make sure that you take care of yourself so that you can be there to take care of your kids, sis. Anyway, guys, I'm done with this video. Don't forget to comment down below, and I definitely will see you guys in the next one.